I got six o'clock. Okay, he says okay. we're live. It is 6 p.m. Thursday, April 23rd, 2020, and the chair calls this regular meeting of the Summers County Board of Education to order. Let the roll call reflect, and the minutes reflect that all five board members are present. And we're doing this meeting virtually from our remote locations at home. I would ask um, Mr. Brogan, if you would do the uh, pledge, and I'd ask everyone else not to recite the pledge because of the time differential. If, you, if you'll do the invocation of the pledge, Mr. Brogan, please. All right. <clears throat> Our Father in heaven, just want to thank you, Lord, for giving us another day. Thank you, God, for your many blessings that you bestow upon us. I just want to thank you, Lord, for smiling on our community that we still only have one case of the COVID-19. I pray, Lord, that your protective hand would stay on our area as well as the state the country is. God, we pray, Lord, that you'd be with us tonight as we go through our agenda. We pray that all things would go the way that it should be. We pray, Lord, that you just watch over us. And we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. <clears throat> Got me a flag on my phone. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Very well. We move to item three, approval of agenda with adjustments. Um, the chair, since it's not very pressing and for sake of time, Chair moves, we will strike item 9G under new business, discussion possible action on CTE. So we will, I move, we strike item 9G under new business. That's a motion. Second. Okay, so motion on the floor by the chair and second by Mr. Brogan that uh, we will Mr. strike. McBride. Oh, I'm sorry, excuse me, Mr. McBride. That we will strike item 9G under new business regarding CTE. Uh, we can do that later because this is going to be a long meeting. Any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining. Let the minutes reflect by 5 0 vote. The board has made an adjustment of striking item 9G new business discussion of CTE. Anyone else? Anything on the agenda? Do you want to adjust? Yeah, tonight is the required um, personnel in reduction in force and transfers that have to be done on or before May 1. So if you think possibly you would want to go into executive session, then we probably need to move item 10 to the last, uh, probably down to item 15 or before adjournment, maybe even before discussion of next agenda in the event that we would have to do that because we would have to shut Facebook down, ask everyone to um, um, remove themselves from the meeting except the pertinent people, which would be myself and the board members and anybody else you would want in that meeting and move from there and then reconvene, go back on Facebook to uh, make this so we can remain public. Um, and if you feel like we can move through, then that's that's fine too. Just giving you your options. Yeah. I don't it's know. Okay to move. Really just feel, I would say just leave it as it is. That's my personal opinion. Okay, that's fine. No one asked for a hearing, so there isn't a hearing to have to deal with. That time has already expired. Okay. Um, it, is there a motion regarding the approval of the agenda? I'll make a motion we approve the agenda with the aforementioned corrections or changes. I'll second. There's a motion on the floor, Mr. Brogan, seconded by Mrs. Farley, that this board approve the agenda for 
Thursday, April 23rd, 2020. And of course, that was subject to item 9G that was stricken by a 5-0 vote. Uh, is there any discussion? All in favor, please say aye regarding the question of approving the agenda. Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining. The minutes reflect this agenda for April 23rd was approved by this board 5-0 vote in affirmative. We'll go to item four, approval of minutes. Um, the I April 1st. Go ahead, I'm sorry. April the April 1st minutes, I sent to you all via email, so you had those quickly um, right after the last meeting. April 14th minutes went out about four days ago. Actually, I think on Thursday of last week. So you should have had plenty of time to have read those. I move, um, the, chair, the chair moves that the board approve the minutes for April 1 and April 14 of 2020. April 1 being a special meeting in April. April 14th being a regular meeting. Well say. Motion on the floor by the chair, seconded by Mr. Brogan, that this board approve the minutes as presented to us by the superintendent for the April 1, 2020 meeting, special meeting, and April 14, 2020 minutes, regular meeting. Any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining. Minutes should reflect that the minutes of April 1 and 14th were approved by a 5-0 vote in the affirmative. Moving now to item five, presentations. Um, our financial audit is back, and we have with us uh, who is also logged in, and he'll put on his um, microphone and camera. You should be able to see him. Mr. Les Harbor from Fife and Jones for our FY19 audit. I'm going to turn that over to him now. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. My name is Les Harbor. As uh, Mr. Rose introduced me, I'm with the Fife Jones Group. I'm one of the uh, CPAs and auditors that performed Gerald's financial statement audit uh, this year for the Summers County Board of Education. Um, I'm going to be taking a few minutes to just walk you through the uh, report and the required communica uh, communication that should be in your Earl's packet. Um, the first item was the communication, the governance letter. Um, these are required by our standards to communicate to you. Um, it gives you a basic idea of uh, an overview of what we did in the performing of your audit. Um, there's no further action required on this letter. It's just a, uh, a letter to you letting you know the basics of the procedures we performed. Um, On to the actual substance of the report. Uh, the report um, was a unmodified opinion. It was a clean opinion. Um, during the course of our audit, uh, we didn't encounter any significant uh, issues. Um, and I'll walk you through the uh, report. It's a 70 some page report. I think these things get bigger every year. Um, but I'll give you a brief overview of each item in the report. If there's any questions, uh, comments, feel free to interrupt me. Um, I'll do my best to answer them. Um, uh, it, if I can. If not, I'll let you know. Um, if there's any other communication you all desire after this, uh, feel free to contact us and we can set something up. So onto the report, the first few pages are the management's discussion analysis. Um, these reports are for single year um, and the management discussion and analysis gives a, um, a comparison from the prior year to the current year. And it focuses mainly on the changes and why items changed from prior year to current year, since that's not really presented as part of the main financial statements. After the uh, management's discussion and analysis, you'll get into the actual face of the financial statements. Um, these are split up into two main categories, and that's going to be your fund level and your district wide. The fund level is what your government and all other governments in uh, this state and nation fo uh, focus on. And that's on a more here and now focus. The focus is on a 60 day window and it um, more or less deals with what's present and being able to be used by the board financially right here and now. The transition to district wide recognizes much more long ranging assets such as buildings and land, um, any long term debt or capital lease payables you all have over multiple years. Uh, recently, some new statements put in uh, the OPEB and the pension liabilities that are also showing up on that. So there's going to be a lot more happening on the district wide than you're actually seeing on the fund level as far as items recognized. 
the fund level, however, will break it down into the individual funds and you can track a little bit better uh, some of the um, individual funds on the fund level, such as special revenue and in your own case, the general expense are your two main funds that you function with. From there, you'll see other reconciliation um, pages as well that will give you an idea of items that are uh, being added to or taken out of the fund level as it gets transferred to the district wide. Um, this will give you an idea, sp specifically the statement of activities um, and your government uh, funds, revenue and expense. That's really your monetary flow and expenses and revenue that happened during the year. And if you'll focus on those, you see that you had a minor, um, a minor net loss for each the district wide and the um, uh, fund level changes. <clears throat> going on past that is really the bulk of the report and that's going to be your notes and it breaks down multiple items that you'll see on the face of the financial statements and gives much more detailed schedules such as um, yearly payments for long-term debt, um, additions and disposals of fixed assets and other such items as that. Once you get past that, there's other required supplementary information such as budgetary comparison schedules, um, even more information on the uh, OPEB and the um, pension liabilities, and then more supplementary information, which is more budgetary, um, and a few items that would be here, such as like an excess levy or school funds. Past that, we have two more reports, um, and that goes into more internal control and the single audit testing that we performed um, for the federal expenditures. We did have one finding in the compliance of uh, internal controls for governments, and that was the um, 11 out of 12 months, the board president was not bonded. Since that's technically not something you can see on the face of the financial statements, it's presented in a report. Um, other such items uh, that we encountered, we didn't have anything that rose to the level of a finding other than that. Um, and in the federal expenditures, we didn't encounter any issues uh, during our testing of uh, the federal expenditures. And that's a clean report as well. Um, past that, this was a relatively uh, normal audit. We didn't have any issues uh, with management. They were cooperative. Um, both Kim Rhodes and Lauren Crook uh, were very um, helpful went you know, above and beyond to give us the information that we needed in a timely manner. Um, we did have some adjustments, uh, but honestly, we have adjustments in just about every audit. So we didn't find anything that really rose to the level of concern or a finding. Uh, past that, if there's any questions or comments. I don't have any. Mr. Duncan, did you have anything you wanted to say or? Uh, no. Uh -uh. Well, again, if there's anything that arises and you all want to uh, have a little more in-depth explanation, um, feel free to contact us. Uh, we'll be looking out for any communication. Um, if, if not, that concludes my presentation. I thank you all for your time. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. Thank it. Thank you very much. Presentation. Thank you. Okay, moving on, we'll go to item six, approval of bills. Yes, you have the bills before you and they're, they're rather small this go round. So um, no one called today or that I'm aware of, not to me anyway. And do you have any questions? I've been Mr. working on taxes all day, so I didn't take the time to call, but I just I have to wonder why Martin's Consulting is on here again. Um, the same reason they were on there the time before. They do principal trainings and do some mentoring for our principals. When we're not in school? No, this was uh, the invoice that came prior to school being dismissed.
some of our invoices, Mr. Brogan, are a month behind. Like it could have taken place the first of March. We get the invoice at the end of March, and here we are now paying it. I make a motion we pay the bills. I'll say. There's a motion on the floor by the vice president, Mrs. Farley, to pay the bills. That was seconded, I believe, by Mr. Angel. Uh, is there any discussion? All in favor of paying the bills as presented, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining. The chair abstains. Let the minutes reflect that the this board, by a vote of four in the affirmative, with one abstention being the chair, has approved the paying of the bills presented under item six for this meeting. Item seven, transfers and supplements. We have none. That brings us to item eight, old business, which has A, B, C, and D um, policies that have been reviewed. Uh, they've been out on review for several weeks now, so um, you've already seen all the comments that came. None of you all have made any suggestions for any changes, and we've already put some suggested changes out to you guys, and they've been on review, so it's time to approve the policies. I'd like to make a motion that we uh, table A. After all Did this time. Did you say table A? Yes. Uh, okay. Mr. Andrew, you said you want, you want a table A. Is that what you, you have a motion for that? Yes. Okay. There's a motion on the floor by Mr. Angel to table policy 6-8-5 films, movies, and videos. Is there a second to that? I'll second it. This uh, motion by Mr. Angel was seconded by Mr. Brogan. Is there discussion on this? Anyone? Okay, well then, um, Chair calls for the vote on the question, and the question is to table policy 6-A-5 films, movies, and videos all in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining. I let the minutes reflect that by 5 0 vote in affirmative, this board has moved to table policy 6 A 5 films, movies, and videos. We move on. We have item B, a policy on review uh, 4 8. H-8, substitute service personnel refusal to work. I'd like to make a motion that we table B. Table B? Yes. Okay, we have a motion on the floor by the Vice President, Mrs. Farley, that we table item 8B as in boy, policy 4-H-8, substitute service personnel refusal to work policy. Is there a second? I'll second. That motion has been seconded by Mr. Angel. Is there any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Abstain, uh, opposed or abstaining? Let the minutes reflect that by 5 0 vote in the affirmative, this board has approved the tabling of policy 4 H 8 substitute service personnel refusal to work policy. We'll move on now to 8. C, policy 5-E-4, billing and collection policy. I make a motion that we approve policy C, or item C, 5-E-4. Um, I'll second that. Did you say, did you say table it or improve, Ms. Farley? What, I'm sorry, approve I didn't it. hear you. Approve it. You, you uh, to approve it. Okay, all right. All right. There's a motion on the floor by Vice President Mrs. Farley that policy 8C, which is 5-E-4, billing and collection policy, be approved. Is there a second to that motion? There was. Mr. Brogan made that second. 
Okay, Mr. Brogan seconded, all right. Any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed or abstaining? Let the minutes reflect that by a 5-0 vote in affirmative, this board approved item 8C policy 5-E-4 billing and collection policy. We move on now to 8D policy 6-B-2 public school curriculum. I'd like to table that one also. You need a motion? A yes, sir. I'll make a motion. We, ta we uh, table D 6B2 public school curriculum. Okay. Is there a second to that motion? I second. There's a motion on the floor by Mr. Angel, seconded by Mr. McBride, that this board table 8D, which is policy 6-B-2 public school curricula. Any discussion? I would ask a question. Is there any time-sensitive uh, requirements on this policy? No, it's it's been before you all for almost two months. That's at least six meetings, I think possibly seven. And now you want to table it. All you got to do is email us and okay. put in your... Well, no, it, Mr. Duncan, I'm not finished. And all you need to do is email us um, and the director that handles that policy and let them know what you want changed. This has been out on review long enough. And I okay. think that our directors want to get this finished up. Okay, we will move on. We have a motion on the floor that has been seconded. Any discussion by the voting members? All in favor that 8D policy 6-B-2 public school curricula be tabled, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining. Let the minutes reflect that by 5-0 vote in the affirmative, this board has approve the tabling of policy 6-B-2 public school curriculum. We'll now move on to uh, item nine, new business. Uh, discussion or action concerning purchases over 5,000, we have none. 9B is to continue our budget discussions from the earlier meetings and I am happy to announce that we received an email yesterday approving the CTE funding application. That part is yearly. They also approved the monies for the new CTE program, which will be used for our tech, uh, electronic electrical technician program. I always get that backwards. And we're very excited about that. I did post the job as directed by the board. And currently we have no applicants. This job requires a master electrician's license. You all approve that posting. And um, this may be hard to fill because we don't pay what a master electrician can pay elsewhere. So it is possible, and I think it, it needs to be said publicly, that it is possible that if there are no applicants by July 1, this program may not get off the ground this year or as expected. Um, everybody here, and certainly down at the high school, once expansion um, of programming in all of our schools and especially at the high school, but we have to be realistic and make sure we adhere to our financial soundness and to know what our limitations are. So I hope we find an applicant. That's really all I had about the budget. And if we're going to do the library separately or we're going to include that in, you've already been given a copy of the budget and you should have that figure in front of you. And we, we've done it both ways, so I'll leave that up to the board, what they want. So let me, uh, did I understand you say at this point, we still have not had any applicant for the uh, electrical position? That is correct. That's what you heard. Mr. Dump. Oh, wait. No. Yeah, my sound's on. I don't know. He froze up. We must be having some problem technical difficulties. Can you hear me, oh. Ms. Farley? Yeah, I can hear you. 
Mr. Angel, are you there? Yes, sir. Mine's froze up a couple of times, too. Mr. McBride. Yes. Mr. Broke. Okay. Uh, I had a question. At this point, we do not have any applicants for the electrical. Is that what you said? Yes, Rose? sir. Okay. And, uh, of course, it's still posted and it remain posted. It's Correct? actually posted until filled. Okay. All right. Okay. That's good. All right. Um, I guess we move. The question was- But now would be the time. Well, we have to approve our budget uh, on or before May 1. And I think it's May 1. Um, but we need to move forward here. Oh, no, not May 1. It's actually, I think, May 30th. So if you have any questions, this is a very pertinent time mm -hmm. for you all to look that over and go call myself or uh, Miss Crook. And I think you know how that process works. And we'll answer those questions for you. Okay. Okay. Did I understand? I think we... Mr. Angel, did you ask the last meeting? Mr. Angel's frozen up again. Okay. Mr. Angel, you asked for the library to be considered separately, correct? Well, it doesn't make any difference to me. What I wanted to see, if we could raise what we're charging them to maintain the vehicle and for storage, so it would increase their in-kind in -kind. so they would qualify for more. Well, right. actually, okay. we actually we did a little um, we discussed that after the meeting. And we think that if you raise the prices so that they can get more money, that might be deemed unethical. Just throwing okay. that out there. OK, yeah, I, we'll don't move wanna, on I just don't want to put us in any any. Um, I don't want to leave anything to be interpreted after okay. July 1. Let's pull it out and do it separate. You need a motion for that? No, I can just do that. Okay. okay. Having done that, I guess we are at item 9C, approved E-rate bid for ISP provider. This is something that we do each year. Um, this is paid for our E-rate monies. Attendance is a school attendance for students is attached to that. I'm not sure how that will affect us this year. I'm, I'm guessing there's going to be something loophole wavered or otherwise, but that bid um, has already went out, come back, and I think you have all that information in front of you. And the vendor selected was Suddenlink. Well, I say we approve that Frontier. I, I don't hardly know anybody that likes Frontier. My brother works for him. <laughs> okay. Mr. Brogan, do you wish to put that in the form of a motion? I make a motion we accept Suddenlink's bid for the. Well, they come in, they, you have to understand that this has been out and it comes back at the appropriate rates. And I'm not sure how many, how many uh, bidders they had come back for three or four. I know this was the lowest. We always, well, you don't base it just on the lowest. You base it, it on the a, services that are provided with it. It's kind okay. of a point system that they used. That is correct. Okay. We have a motion on the floor by Mr. Brogan that this board approved the E-rate uh, that was presented to us for the provider. Is there a second to that motion? I'll second. Okay, that motion has been seconded by Mr. McBride. Uh, is there any discussion on this? All in favor that this board approved the E-rate as presented to us, the E-rate bid for the IP, ISP provider, please, um, Please say aye. 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 Opposed. Abstaining. Chair votes aye for the proposal. So this will let the minutes reflect that by 5 0 vote, this board has approved the E rate bid as presented for the provider. 
Moving on, we'll go to item 9D. Uh, that's to approve the FY calendar that the um, employees have voted on. And I think you have that in front of you. That would be in calendar A to those who are listening tonight so that they know which calendar won. There were three selections. We did it a little different this year and totally put it in the hands of the employees in the system. And this oh, is the calendar they selected. It's already been sent to the state, checked off as being accurate and correct before it was put out for vote. So we have to have that in isn't that May one, I believe. Oh, I think that's right. They extended that. But anyway, we need to get that voted on tonight so we can get that off of our to-do list. I'll make a motion we approve the fiscal year 21 school calendar uh, selection A. I'll second. There's a motion on the floor by Mr. Brogan, seconded by Mr. Angel, that this board approve the uh, faculty staff uh, financial year 21 school calendar as was voted on and approved by staff. Any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining. Let the minutes reflect that by 5 0 vote in affirmative, this board has approved financial year 21 school calendar as presented to us by the superintendent that was approved by uh, school by personnel of Summers County. We'll move on to item E, um, 9E, to approve special education coordinator job posting. Yes, this is a posting that would replace um, the position that Kay Westfall once served in. So, it, as you know, she retired and won't be with us after June 30th. Uh, Dr. Knott got together with, um, I, I guess, Ms. Westfall and with some others and with the personnel director, which would be Eric Widows, because he and I sort of tag team that, and with our CSBO to rewrite that job a little differently to fit her needs. It's very difficult for her to run special ed and child nutrition. By giving someone this coordinator's position, it gives them a few more duties to have to be responsible for. And since we changed it up from a specialist to a coordinator, I felt it would be um, in the system's best interest to take it to you all to be voted on. Because it's a little different. Were there any applicants when you had it posted the other way? No, no, sir. There weren't. There were three, but they changed that around because no one had the credentials at the time. And so they've changed that a little bit to open up the candidate pool. Has the uh, federal aid allocation for special education for next year, has that been released yet? Uh, it's, it won't be released until October, but the, the comps have been released. And this job is is totally funded, I think totally funded, out of federal money. So it won't tap into your county monies. Um, so the three people that applied when it was presented before, none of them were qualified? No, and the, Mr. Widow says that he rewrote that to include that they had to have their evaluations involved in that, which was a piece that they had forgotten. Now, those people can reapply, and if no one that has the credentials does apply, then they'll have to go through that interview process and point process to see who has what, and if and if the, if um, Dr. Knott is willing to put those people on permit or if she wants to continue seeking someone else. Um, I was wondering why this is on there as far as asking us to approve the job posting. I, have we been approving job postings? No, um, I told you, like I said, it had been a specialist position before, but the coordinator's position, it's a little different um, because they would represent the board if there was an advocate. That's what the administrative piece, I believe, especially wanted that in there so that she can speak on be he or she could speak on behalf of Dr. Knott. Or you could not approve it and she can put it back the way it was. But she actually asked for this uh, four years ago and we didn't go that direction. She wants to try it again now. Well, 
I, I don't know. My concern is, is um, since the criteria on the posting is a little different now than it was before, um, I'm not sure if that uh, opens the situation up. I mean, obviously, I don't know, and I guess we would not be allowed to know who the applicants were or whatever, but I'm just wondering. I'm wondering what uh, their position might be if, in fact, um, they recognize that it's been changed somewhat from the first posting. They've been notified that it's, they've been notified that it, that they um, would have the position, the opportunity to reapply for it because they had left some pieces out. I think Mr. Whit he actually showed me the email, so I know he's notified them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, any comments by any other members? You said I feel a whole lot about it, it's not Go ahead. Wait, wait. You said Mr. Mr. Angel. Sure. The ones that applied, qualified. They were Yes, uh, that's what she said. I, I really can't get into that. I can only tell you that they've missed pieces out of the application. Um, out of the posting and they wanted to go back and do that to include those evaluation pieces and to ask for actual certification, not just documentation. They felt like it was too vague. Okay. Mr. Brogan, had you started to say something as well? That just makes me feel a whole lot better. It's federal money, not county. No, it's not coming out of the county's purse. Um, there might be a little tiny bit that comes out of state aid, but not out of um, county monies at all. And we've had this position. It's been done this way a long time ago, and then they changed it, and then Miss Dr. Knott wants to bring it back. You all have to understand, Dr. Knott runs two major federal programs. She has child nutrition, and, and right now, all of her time is being used with child nutrition. And she also has special ed. That's like walking two, three-headed beasts down a street. And by having someone in as a coordinator for special ed, that allows her to be at one meeting while someone else is handling another special ed meeting. And I know that you all probably don't understand that fully, but this person would also do pre-K. That's, that's a lot of balls in the air to juggle for one person. And she's asked for this help, and it's not—it's not costing the county anything, um, and, but it is something that she thinks she needs. And will this be brought back before us for approval? Uh, we'll we'll post the job, and they'll keep posting it until they find someone, and then it comes back to you just like it does under personnel with the name. Okay. Will this change the qualifications for the job? It was too vague. They felt that they asked for documentation and not certification. And so they went back and asked for certification and asked for the evaluative fees to be added into. So that's that's what they wrote. It's them, they the ones that have to work with the person. Right. Whoever that is. And they know what they need. And I stayed out of that because I won't be here much longer. Um, members, uh seems to be a lot of questions. You have a lot of options before you. You can move on this and second it. You could uh, table it and discuss it more. You have a lot of options. So whatever your pleasure is. Um, I'll make a motion. We approve the special education coordinator job posting. We have a motion on the floor by Mr. Brogan that we approve the special education coordinator job posting. Is there a second? Motion by Mr. Brogan uh, to approve the um, special education coordinator job posting failed to get a second. Therefore, this motion dies, Mr. Brogan. We will move on to item F, approved financial year audit. Um, you had the auditor um, do the summary report for you today. So I encourage you to approve this financial audit for FY19.
You do know you have to approve an audit. I'll, I'll make the motion we approve the audit. There's a motion on the floor, Mr. Brogan, that we approve the financial year audit, and that was for the 2019 year, I believe, that just completed. Is there a second? I'll second. I'll second. Uh, I'm sorry. Was that you, Mr. Angel, or? Oh, I had Mr. McBride. Yeah, it's Jay. Okay, Mr. McBride. Okay. Uh, we have a motion on the floor by Mr. Brogan, second of Mr. Bride, McBride, that we approve the financial year audit just presented to the board tonight for the 2019 year. Is there any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining. Let the minutes reflect by 5 0 vote in the affirmative. This board has approved the financial year audit presented to us tonight for the year 2019. Item G was stricken. We now move to item 10 personnel items. And Ms. Rhodes, I believe I heard you say earlier all of the people that were required under these personnel items subject to the personnel period. They all had letters sent to them. They were all informed. They had a right to a hearing and that nobody responded uh, requesting hearing. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay. Well, having done that, then uh, we have, uh, everyone's been notified by a letter. They were informed they could have a hearing before the board and uh, no one has requested such a hearing. So uh, as we move forward here, uh, be presenting, um, the names, positions are leaving and positions are going to, and uh, we'll deal with those, I guess, uh, individually. So I'm sure this is a long list. So, um, we so you want to, do you want to vote on each one individually? Yes. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I noticed a whole lot of them are moving just one grade up in the elementary schools. A lot of and these I are think, mutual. Re yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I think that's awesome. Those kids will have familiar face another year. I think that's great. Yeah, but do you want to do them individually or these mutual reassignments? They're staying within their own school and it was their choice. So do you want to do those all as a group? Mr. Duncan We're breaking up. I'm, I'm catching every other word. Same here. It keeps freezing up. I can't. <laughs> I'm having a hard time. Oh, it's fine here. here. Mr. Duncan requ requested that they all be done individually. Okay. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm good with all at one time. It whatever works for the most. Well, we could do A Mrs. all together. Farley, Mrs. Farley, are you there? Yes, I am. Okay. Um. um I, I I believe that um. The only one I saw that sort of stood out was um, there was one of those that I think needed to be done separately. Um, and I don't want to call out any names um, because the actual position was changing a little bit. So I guess go ahead okay and do maybe do those separately. Yeah, we can do it separately. Let's just move on, though. Okay. So we have Teresa Allen for sixth grade skills at Summers Middle School to seventh grade skills at Summers Middle School. I make a motion we approve the reassignment of Teresa Allen. I'll second. Motion by Mrs. Farley, second by Mr. Angel that we approve the uh, aforementioned item of, was it Teresa Allen? It was. Okay, any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, abstaining. The motion on Allen um, passed by 5 0. Next item. Uh, the next assignment would be Anissa Blaylock from third grade at Hinton area to fifth grade at Hinton area. I make a motion we approve the reassignment of Anissa Blaylock. I'll second. Motion to Mrs. Farley, second Mr. Brogan, that we approve the uh, Blaylock as recommended by the superintendent. Any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 
Right. Opposed? Abstaining. Blaylock, motion passed by 5-0 vote. Next item. Jesse Collins, third grade jumping branch elementary to second grade jumping branch elementary. I recommend we accept that reassignment. You move that? Is that in the form of a motion, Mr. Brogan? Yes. I'll second. Have a motion, Mr. Brogan, seconded by Mr. Angel, that we approve. And what was the name again? Jesse Collins. Jesse Collins. Jesse Collins. Thank you. Any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. Uh, All in aye. favor? Uh, uh, aye. Opposed? Abstaining. All in favor? A 5 0 vote. This motion was approved. Next item. Uh, the next one is Jason Tucker Ford, first grade at Talkett Elementary to a 1 2 split at Talkett Elementary. I'll make a I'll motion. Make a motion. We approve the reassignment okay. of Jason Tucker Ford. I'll say. <laughs> We have a motion, Mrs. Farley, seconded by Mr. Brogan on uh, Mr. Ford to a first-second split at Talkett. Any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining. Mr. Ford to one-two split at Talkett, approved by a 5-0 vote. Next item. Madison Hash, kindergarten at Hinton Area Elementary to a fourth grade at Hinton Area Elementary. I'll make a motion we go with the reassignment for Madison Hash. Second. Chair seconds it. There's a motion on the floor by Mr. Brogan, seconded by the chair for the recommendation for hash from kindergarten to fourth grade. Any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed or abstaining? Uh, hash from kindergarten to fourth grade at Hinton area, approved by 5-0 vote. Next item. Sydney Jordan, fifth grade teacher at Talkett Elementary to the 4-5 split at Talkett Elementary. I'll make a motion we accept this reassignment for Cindy Jordan. Second. Motion on the floor by Mr. Brogan, seconded by Mr. McBride, Sydney Jordan to a four or five split at Talkett Elementary. Any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining. Sydney Jordan to four or five split at Talkett Elementary, passed by a 5 0 vote. Next item. Pearl Knott, kindergarten at Jumping Branch Elementary to first grade at Jumping Branch Elementary. Make a motion we accept the reassignment for Pearl Knott. Second. Chair seconds that. We have a motion by Mr. Brogan. Seconded by the chair. And it was Pearl Knock, correct, from Jumping Branch to talk it. Was that correct? Yes, it was. Are you still having difficulty with your yeah, connection? Uh, if you have a yeah. secondary device on, like your cell phone, and you've got it turned on to Facebook or something like that or another app, that could be causing interference. I don't have that, but I'll turn that off. Uh, it, it might help you. Might. Mine's doing the same thing. Yeah, try to turn your cell phone off. Same here. And I'm, I'm trying to use my cell phone for my agenda. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> oh, that could be what's causing your problem. Okay. Um, all right. We're going to need to back up on that because we got off track. I believe that was a... Uh, so you've already voted on Pearl Knot 5-0. Okay. Your next one. Are you ready for your next one? Yes. Amy Miller, fourth grade at Jumping Branch Elementary to fifth grade at Jumping Branch Elementary. I make a motion we approve the reassignment of Amy Miller. I'll second. Motion by Mr. Farley, second Mr. Brogan, that we approve the uh, motion for Amy Miller, jumping branch. Any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. Opposed? Abstaining. Amy Miller, jumping branch, was approved 5-0. Next item. 
Pamela Mounds for a one-two split at Jumping Branch Elementary to a kindergarten at Jumping Branch Elementary. I'll make a motion to accept the reassignment of Pamela Mounts. I'll second. Motion by Mr. Brogan, second by Mrs. Farley. That this board approves the uh, Pam Mounts from one two split to a kindergarten at Jumping Branch Elementary. Any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining. 5 0 vote on Pam Mounts on a one two split to Kindergarten at Jumping Branch Elementary. Next item. Uh, Cassandra Smith, second grade Hinton Area Elementary to a 2 3 split at Hinton Area Elementary. I'll make, I'll make a motion. motion we we approve. I'll second it. <laughs> All right. We have a motion of Mr. Brogan. Second of our Mrs. Farley that we approve Cassandra uh, at Hinton Elementary, Elementary to a 2 3 split. Any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining. 5 0 vote. Motion was approved to a 2 3 split at Hinton Area Elementary for Cassandra. Next item. Rhonda Willie to from kindergarten aide in Miss Hash's room to Hint, at, at Hinton Area Elementary to a kindergarten aide in Miss Nestor's room at Hinton Area Elementary. I make a motion to approve the reassignment of Rhonda Willie. Chair seconds it. There's a motion by Mrs. Farley, seconded by uh, the chair, Rhonda Willie at Hinton Area transferring from kindergarten aid to a kindergarten aid in whose name was it again? Rhonda Willie. I know that, but it was to what other teacher in oh. Hinton area? She's going from Miss oh. Hash's room to Miss Nestor's room. Okay, to Miss Nestor. Okay. Any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. Uh, aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining. 5-0 vote. Rhonda Willie transferred to Miss Nestor's Hinton Area Elementary as a aide. Oh wait, and I, I have one more. Skipped one, yeah. I do. I sound. I found it. Uh, Angela Taylor from a half-time teacher, half-time principal to a full-time principal at Jimmy Branch Elementary. Um, as her duties have decreased as a teacher due to the lack of enrollment. She also has two days that she, three days that she doesn't have a secretary and needs to be available in that office. Um, I move that this board go into executive session under 6-9A-4, paragraph two personnel on this one. I'll second that. There's a motion by the chair, seconded by Mrs. Farley, that this board go into executive session under 6-9A-4, paragraph 2, personnel. So the procedure then for... Okay, we're live. Hey, it is uh, 7, 10 p.m. on Thursday, April 23rd. The chair calls this meeting the Summers County Board of Education back to order. We're coming out of executive session. So we are at uh, item 10, personnel items. Ms. Rhodes' mic is off. Okay, now it's on. So I come to you with uh, the halftime teacher, halftime principal, Jummy Branch Elementary, to principal Jummy Branch Elementary, full time. I think we've decided to take no action on that recommendation. That being the okay. case, we'll move on to the next item. Reduction in force of the 2020-2021 school year. We have Scott Berkshire, itinerant custodian at Summers Middle School. Do you want to do these separate as well? 
I think we can do them all at once. Rick Blevins, Spanish facilitator at Summers County High School. Chloe Curry, kindergarten at Talkett Elementary. Miss Farley, can you hear me? Yes. Mine we kept going off there. Did could you hear the names and positions from I did. Two? Were you? I able, did. You yeah. did? Okay, so then it should have gone out. Let me to announce. The, you might try it again. Okay. I just want to make sure you haven't heard it. We have Scott Berkshire, itinerant custodian at Summers Middle School. I got that. Okay. Rick Blevins, Spanish facilitator at Summers County High School. I got that. And Chloe Curry, kindergarten teacher at Talkett Elementary. I got that. Everybody else okay? Did you get it? Yes, yes. sir. Yes. Okay. All right, then. I think we're okay. I'll make a motion. We accept all three of those names in the reduction. I'll second. Course. I have a motion, Mr. Brogan, seconded by Mr. Angel, that we accept the uh, reduction in force that were uh, specified by the superintendent. Any discussion? No discussion by anyone? Okay. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining? Okay. Let the uh, minutes reflect that by 5 0 vote in affirmative, this board accepted superintendent's recommendation on the reduction in force for the aforementioned names and noting that all were sent letters and that all uh, knew they could have a uh, hearing and none of them requested a hearing. Okay, we'll move on. Um, transfer notice for service personnel. We were very fortunate this year. We only had to put one person on transfer notice. Actually, we had a really good year. We were able to absorb most of our jobs. Uh, Teresa Connor, aide at Hinton Area Elementary. And what that means is she will be entitled by uh, the first day of school, we are legally responsible, required to put her in a position, but we feel certain one will open up as our numbers of enrollment change. I'll make a motion. We accept the transfer notice for Teresa Connor. Second. We have a motion on report by Mr. Brogan, seconded by Mr. McBride, that we accept the superintendent's recommendation on the transfer notice on Ms. Connor, Mrs. Connor. Any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. Uh, aye. 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 Any opposed? Abstaining. Let the minutes reflect by five of vote and affirmative. This board has approved the superintendent recommendation for the transfer of Mrs. Connor uh, for the school year of 2020-21. Next item. Okay, we have our probationary personnel, but I think that we have a conflict for Mr. Duncan and for Ms. Farley. Um, yes. If you want me just to pull those out separate, I really don't want to go through these one at a time. Uh, with there being a conflict, uh, yeah, I would pull those out, the individuals that would provide a, a conflict, yes, do those separately. Ms. Farley, you I was okay just going to say that'll be fine if you want to pull them out. That's fine. You want to abstain? That's fine. I can do that if it makes things easier. It does make it easier. For minute taking, it makes it easier. I, I can just abstain. That's fine. Okay. Mr. Duncan, how do you want to proceed? I, I can abstain. And that way, I just won't be voting on any of them. We have three other members here. So, right. You okay with that, Ms. Farley, then I assume? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. All right. So we have Teresa Allen for her second year contract. Um, Kara Altice for her first year contract. George Avis continuing. Amanda Bennett third. Vicki Bennett third. Uh, Anissa Blaylock second. Melanie Kales third. Melissa Clay third. Ronnie Clay third. Jessica Cook second. Donna Duncan, second. Emily Finley, second. Taylor Fulp, third. Pam Hamrick, third. Madison Hash, third. Jessica Jacoby, third. 
Sidney Jordan second, William King third, Pearl Knott first, Ken Lester third, Haley Lane third, Carl Lilly Jr. second, Tally Maitland second, Ronald McAllister second, Brianna Medley third, Tiffany Rutherford third, Timmy Sims third, Cassandra Smith continuing, Stephen Starlipper second, Casey Serball second, Carrie Vickers continuing, Beverly Walker second, Lauren Webb first, uh, Jessica Williams second, Richard Woods continuing, and Cheryl Yates continuing. That was for your um, professionals. Service personnel, Christy Allen continuing, Justin Beagle third, Denise Bennett second, Elizabeth Brown first, Lori Burns second, Jeff Kales continuing, Robert Cox third, Thomas Cox third, James Farley third, Joe Farley first, Karen Hostetter continuing, Jennifer Ickes second, Donetta Legg second, Amanda Sampson second, Leah Sears continuing, and Harvey Wayne Ward third. That's all I have for you. I'll make a motion that we accept all the probation, probationary personnel aforementioned. Second. We have a motion on the floor of Mr. Brogan, second of Mr. McBride, to approve the superintendent's presentation recommendation on the probationary personnel. Uh, is there any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Uh, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Opposed? Aye. Opposed? Abstaining? Aye. Aye. Let the minutes reflect that the superintendent's recommendation on probationary personnel was approved by a vote of three in the affirmative with Marley and the chair abstaining on this vote. Okay, moving forward. But give me just a second. Okay, for your Alla County, trans, uh, Alla County requests. Yes, item 11. Item 11, yes, you have HB and KM. Let's go ahead and do them all. We'll do them all? Okay. Um, again, we're in a situation where they can do it now, but after July 1, it doesn't. Right. Okay. Doesn't Just matter. so you all understand. So we have HB and KM to Fayette County and KG and MG to Fayette County. I make a motion we approve the out of county request for the four mentioned students. I'll second. Next motion for Mr. Brogan, second of Mrs. Farley, that this board approve the out of county uh, transfer requests as read by the superintendent. Any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining. Let the minutes reflect a five vote and affirm me. This board approved the superintendent's presentation recommendation on out of county requests as previously read. Um, moving forward to item 12, superintendent report. Um, I really don't have anything to report to other than we are getting ready to enter into our uh, phase one of bringing our employees back. You know that we're closed for uh, school attendance for students. We'll still be handling those lessons re and activities remotely. We'll still be doing mail uh, meals on Mondays um, and getting ready to close out the school year. So bear with us. It could be a bumpy ride. Everybody will have a hard time getting up in the mornings. Um, okay. 
Anything else? Uh, no, just to make sure that the public knows that the audit inspection is here. I mean, the audit report is here and they are welcome to call. We're not open to the public just yet, but they will be welcome to call schedule time. They can come and read it if they so choose. Ms. Rhodes, did they provide us a copy, individual copy like they did before? Uh, yes, it's they, here. We have those here. We'll stick those in the mail to you. Okay. And I think they were also put, um, I think they were on your OneDrive. Let yeah, it's on there. See. Yeah, it is. It's on your OneDrive. Right. Now I just lost everything. I have a hard copy, but uh, would you like for us to mail you a hard copy? Not necessary for me. Save a tree. Okay. No, I don't need it. Ms. Farley, are you there? I am. Okay. I am. All right. I'm, I'm, fine, there. With, I'm okay. fine with the uh, the digital copy. Okay. okay that's, yeah. What Either one will be fine with me. Uh, item 13, public comment. Um, I don't, this really isn't a public comment. It's the public, I've had some people ask how they can make public comments. And so I wanted to fill you all out and, and see what your thoughts were. On that, I know that the uh, West Virginia Board of Ethics says that we have to offer that, regardless of whether we remote or not. And I'm, I, I had planned on how we want to handle executive sessions. This I wasn't too sure about, so I'm leaving that up for your all's. Could they for decision? Did Mr. Grafer have any suggestions? Could they write letters and uh, just have you to read them? I guess. I mean, I, I guess. Or if they could give me their comments could, the day uh, of the meeting, maybe. Because of the special time and the nature of this, we're all in uncharted waters. I, I guess we could contact the Ethics Commission and ask them if this has come up. They've already they said have come out. I'm sorry, it froze up. Mr. Rhodes, you were going to say something? It froze up. I'm just going to let you all handle however you want. Does Mr. Lester have any okay. recommendations on how we could do it? No, I think we want to leave that completely up to the board and, and um, let you all explore those options. Is there I'll a send, way? I'll send you what I do have from the board, from the Ethics Commission because they sent us stuff in the beginning. And so far, we've adhered to that. But I think on the public comments, it was a, it was kind of vague. Could Is we get a phone number that they could call into that you could relay? Well, actually, I could sit here and take phone calls, but they would have to at least um, come in and sign up prior to, I would think. Well, no, they could call in prior to, 15 minutes prior. Would that work? Well, well I, have, could... I have a suggestion. Okay. Um, I, uh, I can call the Ethics Commission and ask them to and discuss it with them and ask them to send out to everybody what their interpretation of what should be done in this case and see if they have any suggestions. That way we'll feel comfortable. We haven't violated anything that the ethics commission has come up with. I can at least explore that with them and ask them to send out a directive to us. So Could you have copy me on that email so that I have that too? Yeah. Yeah. I'll do that. I'll just carve and copy it and I'll send it out to them and, uh, and I'll talk to them, okay? Uh, I guess that gets us to item 14, discussion of next agenda. Um, well, we know we're going to do the library funds separate. That's where I marked that, so I would know. It just depends yeah. on what else you want on there. Um, so the public, uh, our next meeting will be date and time. May 14th. And the staff here had asked if it was possible we could do it at 11 o'clock in the morning. But I'm leaving that up to you all again. What day? Well, since we're now live on Facebook, you could be anywhere and watch it. You don't actually have to come into a meeting. So it's up to I you would guys. be on with 11 a.m. I don't know. Did you have a comment, Jackie? I said I would be fine at 11 a.m. Or six. I'm, I'm flexible. I'm working from home. I am too. I, they just ask. I, I think that they want to do their time and go home and be done. And I get it. Um, but it's up to you all. And some of them do this at home and watch it this way. 
So it's up to you all, whatever you all want to do. So right now it's May 14th. Right now it's May 14th, Thursday at 6 p.m. as a regular yes, meeting. Okay. I'm easy to get along with. 11 o'clock works for me. I, I'm with the majority. Whatever you want to do, it doesn't matter. Mr. Duncan, what say you? Um, I'm just trying to think of the uh, if there's any ramifications of changing it. Um, I don't know. Well, uh, I guess uh, we could think about it, and each member could send Miss Rhodes an email on whether or not you want to do it or you want to leave it the same. You got two options: eleven o'clock or six. Everybody just send on K twelve an email to Miss Rhodes and uh, tell her what you prefer, and then she can uh, go with her from there. I guess. All right. Well, I just want to make it clear: it doesn't. It really doesn't matter to me what time we do it. All right. Okay. Okay, then um, I guess, uh, Ms. Farley, you're on. I'll uh, make a motion we adjourn. The time is now 728. Thank you, all. Stay safe. Okay. Thank so adjourn.